Time for the last keynote and indeed the last session of the day. Our eminent speaker logging virtually all the way from Bulgaria. Please join us as I welcome Mr. Maxim Beher, CEO, M3 Communications Group, Inc. Greetings, Mr. Hello, Beher. everybody. Namaste, Dosto. I hope you hear me well. Madam Moderator, do you hear me well? Is the connection good? I beg your pardon, you are audible, sir. Perfectly audible and visible. Kindly continue with the presentation. I come from Bulgaria, indeed, but best regards from the small city of Toledo in Spain, where I spent a couple of days for holiday, and I'm very honored to join this beautiful and so fruitful conference, which I followed for the past two and a half, three hours. And I thank you for the very, very professional input from all the participants. I can agree with some of them. I cannot agree with some of them, but uh, more or less, this is very important that you guys in beautiful Delhi, in my favorite India, have such a good conferences to exchange your ideas, no matter if you agree or not. But I hope you all realized that now it's the year of 2023. Amazingly important year. After all changes, after COVID, after artificial intelligence, as my good friend Mina Nazari was talking, after uh, all the changes in the communications industry and the war in Europe, which we have now, and is changing a lot of things around us. But most important is that our business, public relations, and it was visible from all the speeches of the participants before me, changed in a way that we now, we are in a completely different, different business. Maybe it's even not called public relations. Maybe it's called real-time relations, maybe it's called real-time media management, or maybe it's called uh, a social relations. It's not anymore public relations because everything is public. This is the main change which I call in one of my latest books, a bestseller on Amazon, Revolution. And the title of the book was The Global PR Revolution. First, and the most important change, of course, as it was mentioned at the, from the speakers before, all we are media, all we are media. And how it reflects to our business, the public relations experts. We, my friends, are not anymore consultants, but we are decision makers. Because time, time of reaction, time of response, time of taking decision is the most important criteria of our professionalism. We might be the best professionals in the world. If we don't react in a couple of minutes, if we don't react immediately to some posting concerning our clients, concerning our companies, concerning the world, the environment, in time, I mean time, a couple of minutes, then be professionals. Many years ago, I wrote one of my books with the rules of the modern public relations business, the rule number one was the worst decision is better than no decision. The more time comes, the more the world is developing and our business is changing. I'm more than sure about this rule, which I wrote about 15 years ago. The worst decision is better than no decision. That means that we must take decisions now. So we are now decision makers, not consultants. That's the most important change. Imagine a client has a crisis and we call the client and he calls the boss and the boss calls another company or the, bo the other company calls the biggest boss. So it will take two hours. Until then, the picture, the landscape of the plant of our client will be completely changed and completely different. So 
again, the time of reaction is the best and the most important criteria for our professionalism, the time of reaction. Of course, it's easy to say, but it's not very easy to do because in order to be a decision makers, that means, first of all, completely different business. Secondly, completely different knowledge and preparation in advance. We must read, we must know, we must research and study in detail the social media in a way that we really know how to react. From that perspective, another change in our business, our regulations, or whatever call it these days, is that we are not anymore a bridge between our client and media. You know how it was? Our client comes to the PR company, sometimes also in your beautiful, yeah, maybe it still exists, but PR client comes to the PR company and we approach the media and then through media we reach the clients. It's not anymore like that, my friends, because we are the media. We know how to manage the media of our clients. We still have, from time to time, cases. The client comes to our offices, and I'm sure that you have the same case as well, dear Dosto. And they say, uh, Mr. PR expert or Mr. Behar or whatever, we would like to have a PR service, but no social media because my secretary is very good on Facebook or my secretary puts pictures on Instagram and they're very nice pictures. This is wrong. This is wrong because we are the experts. We know how to manage the content. So we are not anymore the bridge between our clients and the media because we represent the media and also we represent our clients in front of public. The other change, which I really believe it's a revolution, is that the public relations acts today are very sophisticated chemistry between publishers, editors, and reporters, and nothing else. Publishers, because we own media. This is the definition of a publisher, someone who owns media. Editors, of course, because we take care of the content, and we take care very carefully and very professionally of the content. We are the editors. The editors take care of the content. We are reporters because the characteristic, the definition of reporter is someone who finds news. If we put anything on social media, even on traditional media, without news, then it will not be interesting. Then it will not be read. Then it will not be republished. So we are a chemistry between publishers, editors, and reporters. Finally, a big change in our business is that there is a globally, worldwide, there is a very fast merge between the three most important elements of the communica public communications business. Advertising, public relations, digital. So those three elements are merging very fast into one. And there is a big fight who will be the leader of the future business? Because it is already one business. Advertising, public relations, digital. No matter that very often we have different companies, but at the end of the day, this is one and the same business meaning for one and the same target. Better promotion, better branding, better sales for our clients. But there is a fight because a lot of people have mixed feelings who will be the leading in the future business. Some say advertising, and the advertising people say, I'm sure in India is the same, we are the leaders because we own creative, we own the media buying, we pay the media uh, the best money because that's the reality. You know, the advertising it generates the best turnovers, the best revenues. Then digitals, they say, oh, no, 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 we are the leaders because without us, without our taps, 
without our applications, without our involvement in the website, search engine optimization, and all those details, you guys will be zero. But then I say that public relations business will be the leader of the future big United business. And the reason is very simple. We are the masters of the content. We own the content. You can have the best application. You can have the best tabs. You can have the most important, biggest budgets for media. Without content, the product is zero. Without content, you can do, we cannot do anything. So we, the public relations experts, are the managers of the content. And then let me go back to the base of our business. The very base, like every building has a base. And then you start building on the top of the base. No matter what materials or design you will use, what color of the bricks or what color of the walls, the base is the most important. And to be honest, the rest of our business is still, and it will not change, never. Ethics, transparency, freedom of expression, freedom of taking decision, freedom of media, freedom of writing, freedom of creation, but ethics and full transparency and freedom are the very base of our business. Details are very important. And the more experience is the person, I think the professionals, the more we should take a look at the small details because they can ruin, they can devastate even our business. I have a very good example how people should put their attention on details. You know, for sure, Conrad Hilton, he, the late Conrad Hilton, he's not anymore alive, but he's the founder of the famous Hilton uh, hotel network. And about 20 years ago, he was a guest in Jay Leno's show. And at the end of the conversation, Jay Leno said, Mr. Hilton, you have 15 seconds, 20 seconds to say to the viewers, to our friends, 20 million people, 25 million people are watching this show. The most important thing in your life, you have the camera. So Mr. Hilton looked at the camera and said, dear guests of Hilton Hotels, when you take a shower, please put the carton in, inside the bath because a lot of people, a lot of water is waste outside. Thank you very much. Mr. Hilton, who owned hundreds of hotels all over the world, the most important thing was to save the water, put the curtains inside the bathroom, so we don't. And it's a brilliant example how all we public relations experts should look at the details, providing our strategies, our programs, providing our services to the client. And let me finish with one of my rules. I mean, I have a lot of rules and, and laws which I created all over the years, published in many, many books, and millions of copies uh, sold all over the world, including the one in India. This is the 3S rule. 3S is something which is driving my business, is driving my behavior with my clients and with my team. And 3S means speed, simplicity, self-confidence. First of all, speed. I talked about speed at the very beginning. Speed of answering him, speed of taking decisions speed of learning new things, speed of serving the client, speed of giving the advices. The faster, the better. Don't be afraid of mistakes. Don't be afraid of wrong decisions. The faster, the better. Simplicity, the second S. We are overloaded with millions of information, hundreds of thousands of emails, whatever. Simplicity, we should implement making our priorities. If we do today three things, not 300, then it will be done much better than 300 not done, or done partly. And then, my friends, the last test. 
self-confidence. I don't know anybody who can succeed without self-confidence, without trusting his or her abilities and knowledge and providing good service to the client. Going back to the beginning, and I'm, with this I'm finished, remember, this is a new business with new name, with new abilities, and this makes our life much more beautiful because in one life, we change at least two types of businesses. Shukriya, and I will finish with my favorite phrase in Hindi, which I'm using always, Apaye Aharayi. Shukriya. Thank you, Mr. Mbahir. It was indeed a very enthralling session. And uh, we look forward to see you very soon in Delhi as we speak. And in case anybody has any questions for uh, Mr. Beher, please do share with us. I think this will be all. Thank you for your time. And congratulations. I'm questions. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I said thank you for your time, Maya, uh, and we look forward to see you and congratulations for the evening. We we are very delighted to, we cannot share it officially, but we will be happy to share in the evening the new developments that is going to take place. Mr. Chairman, let me tell you just two words. I cannot wait to come to my favorite Delhi. I wanted very much to be with you tonight, but I promise, I mean, no matter who will win, who will be awarded, the awarding ceremony of a public relations expert. It's a big event always and everywhere. But I cannot wait to come to spend a good evening with you, to have a glass of beer or a glass of wine, and to talk about the most beautiful and the most dynamic business on the planet Earth today, public relations. Absolutely, sir. Shukriya. It will be on my honor, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that brings us to the end of the 13th edition of Indian PR and Corporate Communication Conference. And uh, we thank you the day uh, largely covered, every, you know, things about the changing shift and dynamics of PR towards artificial intelligence and the role of marketing. So I would like to thank each and every one of you to, you know, make it here and spend quality number of time. I hope there were some key learnings. We hope to see you in some time. So we just going to... We'll request everybody to vacate the hall so that they can do the whole resetting and we'll start out with the awards. Thank you.